Hello and welcome. Hi. So we have spoken with so many mothers who do not make it okay for them to take a rest and to take any form of rest and to actually acknowledge the fact that they're not they're not coping with the level of pushing energy that they've got going on in their lives and that they have a desire to sometimes um, honour their their more, what do we call it, the contraction? The, yeah. So, the, <laughs> what are the words? So most women don't yeah. honour rest and don't pay attention to their where they're flowing with their energy, right? We're in push, 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 which is a cultural thing. Like it's... We're to be productive at all times mm. and rest is not seen as productive. It is actually, and we're going to talk about why rest is productive, but it's not seen as that. It, yeah, it's, it's almost seen like something that is, I'm a failure if I do mm. or I'm, I'm wasting my time. I'm being lazy. I should I have better things to do. I need to keep pushing, right? And we do that and we push and we push and we push and we send our messages, the, the we send our body the message that... If you want to stop, you're going to have to do something severe enough to force me to stop, <laughs> right? And we get sick. Mm. And yeah. then it's like, well, now now there's no other excuse. Like, I have to rest. I know. I know I, I've done that in the past myself. But I know heaps of women who are like, on the one hand, it sucks that I've got a cold now. And on the other hand, yes, a legitimate reason to have to spend the day in bed. Yeah. So... What we're suggesting is that you begin to shift your perspective around rest and around going within and doing less sometimes. Not that you always have to, like your life life moves in in currents, but in that current it can't always go, it can't always be in the outward energy of doing a lot getting a lot done, being really productive. It always has to come back. And, yeah, go for it. You want to talk about the cycles? Okay, yeah. <laughs> so energetically, you have your own personal energetic cycle where your energy, your life force is moving. And it's cyclic, it's rhythmic, like pretty much everything else in nature, in our bodies, continues to flow. And you're moving between, if you think of it like breathing, you're moving between your out breath and your in breath, okay? You cannot continuously breathe out forever and never stop and take a breath in because you'll die, <laughs> right? And it's the, exactly the same in your energetic currents. You need to, you directionally are either putting out energy, so you're giving, doing, being productive out in the world, getting stuff done. That can also mean playing with your children, nurturing your children, managing the household, getting your work deadlines done, getting all the errands done. That's all our energy, outward, outward, outward. And that is what most of us say, yep, that's cool. I'm, I've got my shit together. I'm getting my stuff done. And that's what your to-do list is. I bet if I asked any of you right now what's on your to-do list, it's all outward energy, right? And ideally we want to be in that outward energy when we have energy when we feel like yeah i'm i've got energy i want to do this i'm inspired and we feel lit up about it unfortunately none of us are good at acknowledging we must pause at some point and take a breath in okay energetically we need to replenish what's going out okay and that is often not prioritized and ironically if you learn to work with your personal energetic cycle and the more you, we've done this with lots of women, okay, the more you start to analyse, am I in outward expansion or am I in inward contraction and you start to play with that energy and we're going to do more of that in our group which we'll talk about in a minute. But like, if you start getting aware of that, you'll watch, you can cycle between outward and inward energy, even in an hour, right? But certainly in a day or if you look at it in a week, right? Like you can do it on all sorts of levels. But if you get really good at it and you're aware of it, just an awareness thing really, you can cycle really fast. And when you honour the in-breath, when you honour the contraction, like what, like just before Kaya came over today to work, 
I had been with my son doing woodworking all morning and drilling and stuff. And I came home really tired and I, and I knew I was in contraction, right? But now I have to be here and teaching and doing things. And I, that was also an outward energy. But I took 10 minutes in between to do contraction, right? Like I honoured it and I went, yeah, the best use of my time right now is to lie down on the bed. Just lie down. <laughs> it was like 15 minutes because Kayla was a little late, <laughs> which was good for me. But like if you're choosing to honour that, then you can move back into your outward energy and into your outward task list, cycling again in the right way, right? And the key is to honour it yeah. because it's going to happen anyway. Like if it, you it keep, will. yeah, if you keep trying to breathe out and out and out and out, and you don't pause to take any in breath, you just keep trying to plough through it. A few things happen. You damage your actual health, right? You get sick. Um, we kind of all know that one. You also are ironically incredibly less productive. Your brain slows down. Your energy slows down. Your ability to to complete tasks slows down. Everything starts to work against you. You'll notice like things will start breaking. It's just like the world mm. is trying to. <laughs> Which is actually a blessing because it is your body, the whole universe, conspiring to get you to honour the cycles, to get you to actually go into contraction at times because you need both. So it's, You need it. Yeah. And that is an incredibly productive thing to do so that then you can come back out again, back into expansion. You have to, like the tide, like our breath, you've got to move between the two. And if you don't, and you just hang out until you get sick, and some, I, I know people who do that. Actually, my husband had that habit for years, right? Like he would plow along, plow along. I'd be saying, you look really tired, you look really tired. Just going to keep going, just going to keep going, just going to keep going, until he got sick enough that it validated his need to take a day off like that's kind of their stuff but like and uh, and he's not the only one there's so many women I have coached that do that too mm, yeah. so don't <laughs> wait until you get sick right and as I said before managing those energetic cycles your personal cycles can be done on a weekly level a daily level a check-in in this moment level you know often if I say to a woman right now we've done this heaps and groups right where are you right now? Are you in expansion or contraction? And most of the time when they start with this, nearly everyone says contraction. <laughs> if, if you've been pushing and denying contraction for so long, then you've almost kind of just been like half, half-assedly doing it when you have to. So you have this like build-up, this bank of really needing to honour the contraction so that sometimes it can be kind of big. Mm, it can feel it, right? <laughs> like I'm so freaking depleted. I need to take a day or a whole weekend off, right? And that's mm. legitimate. But you'll find if you are more honouring and aware of your in and out, like where you are in your cycle, the cycles can move much faster and you don't need to spend a week mm. in the Bahamas. <laughs> and it's, <laughs> it's also very much about your intention and your intention, like your intention and your presence around it as well. Because if you come to... Like, like Lisa's 10, 15 minutes of contraction energy with a, this is really important for me and I'm going to honour myself because I, I know how important this is. I know how legitimate this is and I'm going to value this just as much as I value that really big epic outward thing that, um, that I want to do. Then you're, you're, you're bringing a lot of powerful energy to it and your contraction will, it's more powerful. yeah. You power it up if you fully 100% go there. And the other thing that I want to mention about these in-out cycles, okay, is when you're in contraction and not honouring it, you're actually going against the natural directional current that your energy wants to flow right now, which means you're swimming upstream, okay, and we all know what a crappy sensation that is, okay. And that is exactly the same too. If you want to be in flow, so you know that term, I'm in flow, things are just working for me, oh my God, it's also, you know, everything's just falling into place, that sense of flow. A sense of flow, you can be in flow whether you're in expansion, outwards energy or contraction. Where you get out of flow is when you're fighting, 
whichever the direction you need, like you're not honoring where you're denying it. Yeah. So if you're honoring your expansions and contractions, you will come into flow. Like you will, which means you will be way more productive and things will be so much bloody easier when you're honoring your cycles, Mm. which means that your contraction can be like your, I'm going to lie down and rest, might be the most highly productive thing that you can do. The needle mover. Yeah. And, And we also know, and I know for myself, that there can be a lot of resistance to to really honouring the contraction. Like it's a pretty it's a pretty entrenched cultural belief that it's not legitimate, that it's wasting not, time. Yeah, it's not valuable. Yeah. And we have we you can have lots of childhood stuff like messages that your parents or teachers or all these people have told you that makes it hard to really honour it. So there's inner work to it as well. Absolutely, it's not like honour your contraction and everything will be la di da like it's it's not that simple sometimes and so also if you really want to shift this because it is important it makes a big difference in your spaciousness and if you run your life constantly always pushing and there's no legitimate space for you to rest mm. then jump on a call with us because we have yes. some spaces in our calendars that we're dedicating to this topic we would love to do the inner work with you that's what our superpowers are yeah <laughs> hey tanya and courtney Hi. Hi. nice to see you here um yeah come and get on a call with us and let's have a look at what is the inner game that is taking you out because once we sort out flip the switches on those inner pieces then the outer pieces are a piece of cake they're easy once we just get to the core of what's really going on for you because it's all in again so you give yourself permission mm. ah, so courtney and tanya you're at the end of our video lovely women if you've got a question you want to throw at us we're up for it otherwise you can go back and watch it another mm. replay and tanya's already in our group courtney you're very welcome to join the new group it's in the comments we would love to see you there yeah. Okay, so much love to you all, and we will be back. When will we be back next? What day is it today? Thursday. I think we'll be back tomorrow. Yeah. I think we're back tomorrow. Awesome. Yep. All right, then. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.